try and figure that out and see if Fantasia Land is Germany's best theme park. And we've started off with a bang. We rode the magnificent beast behind me, which is Taron. First thing of the day, first train of the day, in the back row. So we had a fantastic time doing that. And uh, Taron is an incredible roller coaster. One that is incredibly themed, has some fantastic elements, and it's an all round great coaster. I've only been on it once, so it's hard to say. But I don't know, it didn't like, I don't know if it blew me away like you hits did, but I don't know why, it might just have been because it was the first one, so we'll see. I definitely agree, it didn't blow me away instantly and uh, I'm not sure where it places yet. It's definitely top three, but I've got to sort out what the order is, you know, whether it's Khan and top still, then Helix and Taran, or where it sits. So we've got plenty more rides to do in this park, uh, a lot more of the day to, to spend at the park, and also more rides on Taran to be had. Only I went for a spin cycle on Talacan to try and dry off, which didn't really work. Um, but yeah, first cheer pass, it's literally a glorified log flume. It's got so many cool, wacky effects on it, uh, so many cool transitions. The final drop is pretty incredible as well. So that was a, a quite great log flume. But Talacan is a fantastic flat ride. It's so forceful, there's so much theatrical sense to it. There's a lot, there's just a lot to it. You know, the cycle's great, uh, the effects are fantastic. Overall, quality ride. I'm wet. <laughs> Say again? I'm wet. <laughs> it's not good. How was cheer pass? It's weird. It was good, but weird. I don't know. I think I just prefer normal log food. Really? Yeah. Even with all the theatrical stuff going about? I liked when you span around, but then then it just felt weird to go backwards. I didn't like it that much. I didn't know that it was going to do any of the stuff that it did, so that was pretty weird when it started like tilting and doing stuff. Um, it just makes it less boring, doesn't it, than just a spinning coaster, just to have like some other stuff going on, so. Which did you prefer? I don't know mate, the second one. <laughs> the second one was better, was it Force? Fear. Was it Fear? Oh, Fear was better than Force, so not, not by much. As Zoe so elegantly put it, we just came off uh, Windy's Fear of Force. Or Windjima What's It. I hope you like these cool shades that I'm wearing. Um, they're, you know, Wallaby Holland Classic. Scout out to my boy. Scout out? Scout out. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Scott, who works there. He's a great guy. He uh, sent over these cool shades. So now I feel like a proper, proper Dutch man. Anyway, no, Winges were good. Uh, we love a good spinning coaster, and they are spinning coasters. The second one, Fear, was definitely better than Force, uh, but we do prefer 
forces, trick track elements. We found those to be a bit better. Yeah. So, but no, good rides. Uh, they're not the most forceful, they don't have the best layouts, but overall they're just fun. Fun rides and that's all you can ask for really. Now it's time for Black Mountain. As you saw, we just rode both Black Mamba and uh, Colorado Adventure. So starting with Black Mamba, thoughts? It was pretty good. I think it's better than Nemesis, but I don't know, I don't really like them, so I'm not really wanting to like, say anything about it. <laughs> it's more theatrical than Nemesis is, and it's yeah. got more of a kind of like story to it that's shown, really. Um, I'm not a fan of inverts either, they don't really give me any joy, but it's a pretty good one though. It is a good one, especially when you're close to the front. I think with Black Mamba, it's all about the elements. When we could see, we were second row and we could see like most of like what was coming. Whereas when you're at the back, it's just like... Mm. Yeah, when you can see the elements, you weave in and out of the rocks, it's great. But it's, it's pretty intense and pretty forceful. So if you like those kind of things on invert, then great. But not that much of a fan. Not for us. No. Colorado Adventure throws you about. Mental ride. <laughs> it is a good ride, I actually like it. Um, it throws you about, it, it's very whippy, it's very long. Very long. Very long. Three lift hills, so it's got some nice tunnels and some nice rock work on it as well. There was that one tunnel section that just kept going yeah. and going and going, um, which is cool. But anyway, it's time to ride the one ride that Zoe has ridden before here, and that is Mystery Castle. <laughs> this is my uh, friend Jim. Got a big old shield. He's a great guy. Available for any of the ladies. So, hit him up. Mystery or misery? Who knows? It's, it's 3 p.m. so it's, it's mystery. <laughs> Yeah, so first Mystery Castle, fantastic shot slash drop tower. Um, the thing is, because we've never done it before, or Zoe has, but we don't know if we've got the Mystery or Misery cycle. Yeah. So any of those in, of you in the comments who know what the Mystery cycle is, we shot up straight away to some music, then it kind of bounced off it, came all the way back down, the professor started having a row, and then it went straight back up again, did a few more bounces, and then back down again. So yeah, let us know if that's the mystery cycle. It's a really good ride, yeah. I, I loved it, it's fantastic. Especially the second launch, you get some great forces and it doesn't just drop you, it throws you down. Yeah. Which again, fantastic stuff. So yeah, quality ride. Rake on the other hand, what did you think of Rake? Rake was good for what it is. Yeah. I wouldn't, I would, you know, I wouldn't be like, oh, let's go on it again, no. but it was good. It was a good family coaster. Um, you know, the Vekoma Boomerang coasters. It was an enjoyable ride. As we were going backwards, Taron was right behind, well, <laughs> right beside us. So it was really cool to kind of go backwards as Taron was going in the same direction we were, but backwards. If you can imagine that, that, that was really cool. The interaction there is pretty cool. Um, and I know, yeah, it's a good ride if you don't have to wait for it, you know? Yeah. So, um, and we didn't, so. Quality stuff. We've now done all of the roller coasters in this park. Um, and they're all pretty good. Temple of Nighthawk is too long for its own good though. 
That was weird. It was and weird. Kind of boring. Yeah. Not a fan of Temple of Nighthawk, even though apparently there's a, a fan club going on, but not. Yeah. It's just like. It's just too it's long for its own good. special, is it? No, no. So I say rip it down, put something else there, you know, something better, something higher caliber, fitting with the rest of the park. Five screens, Logan, if you're watching this, it's a quality ride, very good. Um, we're having a problem that I don't know whether it's better than Helix or not right now. Uh, it's, it, it's a tough decision to call. We rode front row, front row is fantastic and by far the best row on the coaster. Yeah. Uh, but it's a well themed, it's got force to it, it's got airtime, it's got snappy transitions, it's pretty much got everything. Um, except for a nice slow heartline roll. But yeah, quality ride. Um, it's sad that we didn't get four rides on it, but still very good. You just got leaves on you. I know. <laughs> Come here. And that marks the <laughs> And that marks the end of our day here at Fantasia Land. We've had a fantastic time. Um, riding all the coasters, enjoying Taran, enjoying Batmamba, Chia Pass, Talakan, all the other great fantastic rides here. Um, I'm sure we'll be back at some point. We've got to ride Fly at some point, which is a, gonna be a fantastic ride, I'm sure. Still haven't decided on my top three yet. It, it's, it's too difficult at the moment, so stay tuned on that. Um, stay tuned on the podcast about Tazia Land with Zoe here. Mm -hmm. We'll get around to doing that relatively soon. Other than that, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's been a good one. Um, and if you haven't already, I guess check out Tazia Land yourself. It's a great park full of some fantastic attractions. Yep. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time. What's your opinion?